Another great question that comes up all the time is when to private message? To private message or not to private message? I'm going to give you a general rule of don't private message. You should only private message under very specific circumstances. And uh, I'd like to cover a few of those just as we think about XDA etiquette. Uh, here we have uh, Resurrection Remix Oreo ROM uh, put out by uh, Buff99 and this is this is really great great material um, so you for instance if you were to be using this particular uh, ROM or if you uh, were going to ask questions about this ROM as we talked about in previous posts when's a good time to uh, when's a good place or time to ask a question that sort of thing what uh, what would drive you to private message this developer I get quite a few private messages from people uh, that are asking questions that probably would be best asked in the threads of the forums themselves and so I want to address this issue of, of private messaging XDA has a great private messaging system um, you can also turn off private messages so you can't even receive one from people if you don't want uh, and a lot of developers end up having to do that because they get um, their inboxes flooded with private messages from people trying to ask questions that were better asked elsewhere so if you feel the need to ask a developer a question in a private message I want you to reconsider and think about a few things the first thing to consider is is it a question that has already been asked so when you're going to ask a private message question the first thing you should be doing is searching you should be doing some serious research to make sure that that question has not already been asked for instance if you were having trouble with your GPS we've just been using that as our generic problem is GPS trouble and uh, you're having particular problems with GPS in this resurrection remix OS ROM you know you could just type in GPS in the search bar and take a look and see if anybody mentioned it notice that uh, there's a GPS module and some people seem to be having uh, at least a personal issue with it but then they were able to um, fix it so for instance there's a GPS module in Magix that makes the fixed speed a lot faster um, somebody tried to use this uh, and it doesn't help doesn't fix their problem and then they say hey did you make sure you did this and they're trying to help this person through that issue so for sure if you want to ask a developer a question about their ROM or about their material or about a thread or something like that go to that thread that it's that's relevant to your question and do some searching make sure that you have fully searched out the problem before uh, even considering sending a private message then for instance if your question is about resurrection remix Oreo you should not private message the developer to ask the question they have a thread right here this thread is to be used for asking questions so ask the question in the thread rather than private message the developer um, finally if you've asked your question in the thread and you're not getting an answer that's not necessarily a good reason to private message the developer either are you asking in the wrong place are you asking in the wrong way are you uh, being rude or disrespectful and uh, a few of those things to consider uh, another thing that uh, I've seen is perhaps a developer made a ROM a long time ago uh, this one's fairly recent only a month uh, almost two months now um, but for instance if uh, the ROM was made back in 2014 and it no longer is available or something like that the developer has moved on you might feel well I post in the thread nobody answered because the developers not watching that thread anymore and I really need to know this answer so I'm gonna private message that developer uh, that's not necessarily a good reason to private message them either 
because they may have moved on, they may be done with that uh, particular device or may not be able to help you anymore. Uh, in that case, you should probably consider going to like the question and answer section of that device. So for instance, in this case, the Samsung Galaxy S4, you can go to the uh, question and answer section and ask your question there. Hopefully some other users can help you out. Pretty much what I'm getting at is private messaging a developer should never be your first, second, or third stop. It shouldn't even be your fourth or fifth stop on your list of things to do. It should be the last effort where you have exhausted all other means to figure something out. You've asked questions from people and given time for people to give you answers and those answers are not working. You have searched through all the threads. You have read all the material that you can. You have used web searches and everything else to try to figure out your problem to the best of your ability before ever private messaging a developer. And it's not that uh, developers are too important to be bothered, but literally uh, my, my inbox gets, uh, gets flooded with private messages from people uh, wanting assistance with something that I have threads just for that purpose and they're not utilizing those threads. They're not asking in the manner that's supposed to be asked. Now some developers will say in the first post, hey if you have a problem you know post here or if you have a problem post in a specific question and answer thread or if you have a problem you can private message me. Now if they've said specifically that you can private message them then you can do so. But if they have not said that, assume that they do not want a private message for you. Uh, they want you to use the threads and, uh, and to work properly through that method. Private messaging, what it should be for, is a private message between you and another user who are either friends or uh, for settling some kind of dispute or for a developer to contact another developer uh, as they work on projects together uh, that, that they're doing. So, for instance, if you have, uh, if, if you were good friends with Buff99, then uh, it would be appropriate for you to send him a, a private message because you guys are friends. That's something you guys can do uh, back and forth. If you, uh, if you, not just that they're on your friends list. I think that's important to clarify. Um, on on XDA, you can have a friends list, and that doesn't necessarily give you carte blanche permission to uh, private message that user. Um, but uh, but private messages are are supposed to be between uh, friends, or you can use them. For instance, if you have a dispute, you're not supposed to argue in the threads. And so if there's a dispute and you two are arguing of a personal nature, that's not supposed to take place during the threads. That's something that you guys could handle uh, if needs be through private messaging. Um, do be aware that uh, you shouldn't use that as a tool to bludgeon somebody that you want to argue with um, because you can actually be uh, be uh, blocked and you can also get uh, moderators involved for sending uh, inappropriate or hateful private messages back and forth. Um, so do do be aware of that. But uh, but so those those are perhaps reasons that you could use private messaging. But like I said, if you have a question for a developer, please search it out, research, search again, search another time. Uh, use the forums, use the threads, start question and answer threads ask in appropriate posts, do everything in your power to get the answer before you even consider uh, private messaging a developer. Private messages are not the way for you to just get a quick answer to your question. If you have questions you should be using the um, the forums and the posts as everyone else does. The great reason for using them and the posts uh, is that you actually get everyone else, you give everyone else a chance to read the question and the answer so that when they search they can find that the question has already been answered and the developer doesn't have to answer the same question 35 times. So just something to consider. 
Uh, I feel like uh, private messaging is perhaps one of the most abused uh, portions of XDA uh, that at least for me personally and so uh, do keep that in mind and hopefully this was helpful.